What's going on, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the Poker Staples vlog. How's everyone doing? How was your week? Mine was great. Um, not gonna lie. The best week of my life. I took down the big 109 for $19.4 thousand dollars a couple days ago. I don't really know what to say. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I've never won that amount of money in that short of time, and it hasn't really sunk in. It's just a number on my screen right now. Um, yeah, it's... It's weird, but you know what? It has ignited some sort of passion in me. Uh, the next day I woke up and I was like, okay, I kind of want to win the Sunday Million now. I've won the big one on nine. What's next? So, you know, onwards and upwards, that's how I feel at this point. Um, there is no time for resting. If I want to get to the top of this game, I have to keep working at it, and I intend to, and it's uh, it's kind of surprising how I reacted. I, I expected that... Um, just with my personality, when I achieve something like this, maybe I would relax or, or get bored or something. But um, I was a bit surprised in that it didn't work out that way. I, I kind of feel even a bit anxious to just get back to work, uh, to get higher, to get better. So uh, you guys can look forward to that because I'm more dedicated now than I have ever been to work on my game. Um, another cool thing happened this week in that at the same time as that run... Uh, Jason Somerville made the final table of the Super Tuesday, took fifth place, I believe, for $30,000. So at that time, me and him were number one and two. He had about 21,000 viewers. I had 4.7 thousand at my peak. We were ranked number four on Twitch for game. Poker was the fourth game on Twitch. This is insane. This is like six months after this community started. It was the number four game one night. So I'm incredibly excited about how things are progressing in the community. Um, thanks to everyone that's supporting this. Uh, it's really cool as a poker player that feels like, you know, how do we get their, our story out, right? How do people know that what we do is kind of cool? Is it just going to be on, on TV, on TSN or ESPN or SportsCenter, uh, you know, for an hour in the afternoon? No, this, this is who it's for. This is the new age. Uh, of how we get content and I'm just so excited that poker gets to be a part of that because obviously I'm pretty passionate about it it's what's uh, my life is about right now so anyways uh, I've uploaded the last six minutes or so at the end of this video if you guys want to check it out it was a pretty uh, emotional moment for me it's the coolest moment of my life and I got to share it with 4.7 thousand people and that's insane um so thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the end of this video. It was a good one. See you all later. Uh, just got home from work. You're still rolling. This is awesome. Thanks, man. We're going to try and take this down. So you can open the button. It's going to be a flat against D. Peters, if, unless we see a shove from Turco, which we do. I expect D. Peters to call, actually, quite a bit. A7, A3. Hold. Hold, A7. Hold. You guys, we have my biggest score ever. And we're heads up against D. Peters. Now, um, I'll probably look at numbers here. I guess I'll just check the Discuss a Deal tab. Uh, we open it called, and we see this board. It's going to be a bet fold, I think, for me. So we're going to bet like 87 into this pot. <laughs> so we're guaranteed 13.8k right now, which is like 14k. But we're playing for another 6, so that's pretty sick. Um, I checked the deal box. It looks like D. Peters doesn't... Doesn't want to deal, which I wouldn't blame him. D. Peters definitely has more experience, which is cool. Yeah, good luck, man. I'm, I'm assuming you're watching this right now. Uh, I guess I'll type it in chat if you're not, but I'm assuming you're watching. Uh, so good luck, good luck. See an open here with 310. Uh, probably just going to be a 3-bit with the suited in. Grips in the house. What's up, man? Yeah, it was even stacks for a while. Thankfully, we're heads up. And good game, by the way, to uh, to Turco, man. Good game, man. I guess I should change the title when we get there. 
And we get four bet, just gonna fold. Uh, eight three on the button. We're gonna start clicking now. I'm a big fan of hockey. I love the heads, just so you know. Awesome man. And I'm gonna click the jack nine. D. Peters calls. We see queen queen deuce board. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty interesting as to whether we want to bet or check back. I think we're gonna bet here. I'd probably check like all of my kings plus. Uh, we're gonna bet small. Probably plan on barreling the turn a lot. Thank you, anyways. Thanks, man. Bet could call jack in the turn is an amazing turn. We're obviously betting for value now. Um, What sizing? What do you feel the need to play most hands? Because we're only three handed, right? So with the blinds and antis, you're almost always getting incented to play hands. You have to play very aggressively, short handed. Bet again, get called. We see an ace on the river, which sucks, uh, actually. I mean, it does hit our range relatively hard, actually. We would. <laughs> I said that a lot, I'm sorry. I would bet. An ace for value on the turn, I think. D. Peters believes. We can't get value from anything else, though. I'm not going to turn my hand into a bluff. Hopefully chop with other jacks. We lose to an ace, though, which is too bad. That's too bad, but I think, you know, we played it reasonably. See an open going to peel the 9-7 here. And start with a check. Yeah, I know. We're on the top row of games on Twitch right now, which is so sick. Uh, pretty unreal. So D. Peters bets here. We don't represent that much by raising, but I still think we should in that it's really hard for D. Peters to float with very many hands. Like maybe, you know, ace x, king, king x, and queen x, which isn't most of their range. So I'm going to throw in a check raise. Even though we don't have any equity here, uh, I still think we can get enough hands to fold. So I'm going to click it now. Hold, vamos, heads up. We're guaranteed 13.8. This is so sick. Uh, heads up hype. Let's get it, man. <laughs> Vamos. We're going to win this first, though. We are representing a fairly polarized range here to T. Peters. We don't represent that much. Uh, probably have to shut down on the turn, I think. We see, like, Jack-10 and Ace high floating sometimes. Um, but, yeah. I mean, we obviously have no equity, so I'm just going to give it up. Basically just trying to get non-ace high, and not even ace highs always peel. Trying to get non-kings and queens and jack-10, um, and like 10-9 suited with a backdoor flusher or something to call. So, yeah. Heads up, let's get it. Yeah, I know, this is nuts. Uh, we do see a bet on the turn, we're going to fold. Uh, do 7 on the button, do we just open everything? I think we still do, yeah. Uh, thank you, Crime. Thanks, man. D. Peters is OG. See a jam? Okay, we're gonna fold. I guess we're, yeah, like 20 big blinds or so. So, um, I'm pretty comfortable in this range, though, I think. I mean, most of the studying I've done has been with antis being as big as the big blind, but I still think it's reasonable. I'm just gonna check fold on this board. Yeah, by the way, if I was D. Peters, I wouldn't make a deal for what it's worth. Uh, I don't blame him for doing that. I don't think he's like a jerk for doing that. Some people think like if you don't make a deal, it's a jerk move or something. D. Peters is a pro. He's trying to make the most money he can. Um, if he thinks he has an edge on me, he's definitely going to play for 6K instead of like trying to chop, you know. So. And going to fold to the reshub. Which is Okay. I can imagine the chat's probably going to be freaking out right now, but it's going to happen. We got time, yo. See an open going to defend the 9-8 and flop a straight, which is fun. Uh, do we want to lead here? Yeah, I think we do, actually. We don't represent very much. Our range is capped at the hand we have right now. 
King nine and this. And King nine probably shoves, so it's really hard for us to have a good hand here. Um, D Peters are probably going to pick up on that. And we call. Against Queen three, that's a cooler for them, but yeah. D Peters watching the stream? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Rob, what's up, man? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we're going to open the 7 4 on the button. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Update there. And going to bet with the middle pair here. Relatively small. Should probably make it a bit bigger than this, though. <laughs> Man, this is pretty nuts. I'm playing for a lot of money. See a fold? That's cool. We're back in a good spot, though. <laughs> yeah, GTH. Uh, we're just going to fold the 3-5. By the way, guys, I do have a YouTube channel that just started up. Um, exclamation mark YouTube in the chat. If you guys could follow, that'd be cool. Give it, Get it off the ground. Follow me here on Twitch. That'd be very kind. We're streaming five days a week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So lots of time to check out the pokers. 4,500 viewer hype. This is so sick. Uh, without front page, too. That's the biggest like organic growth I've ever seen. I'm gonna pile this in. Hype. You deserve this spot, buddy. Thank you so much, Fraser. I really appreciate the support. Um, get the hearts out in chat from you guys. We are going to pile here. Um, yeah. No, I think we just pile. Snap call by H10. Hold. Hold. Oh, hold. Yes. Okay, let's do it. We have 2.7K. Okay, we can do this. Uh, Jack 10 was going to be something. <laughs> oh my goodness, the equity is huge. 7-8 uh, on the button, do we open? Uh, I'm going to try a click here. Try it out. Incoming. Balance your incoming range, you guys. We get reshoved down. We're just going to fold. It's not over yet, by the way. We have to stay focused. D. Peters piles, we call, obviously. They open, we reshove, obviously. We see a limp, it's still gonna be shove. Don't really just wanna like um, raise smaller. Oh wow, kings, get there. Club, club, club. <laughs> I was ready for the tiger pump. Okay, we're back, we're back battling you guys. It's gonna happen, nice play by the way, by D. Peters. Nothing we can do. Uh, this is an open four bit with the threes as well. <laughs> and we get three bet we are gonna four bet Merson in the chat what's up man thanks for chilling the champion the world champ Greg Merson called by sevens damn oh <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm tearing up. That's too good. I don't even know what to say. This is pretty cool. So, <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, we just won 19.4k uh, on stream. We finally took down this beast of a tournament we have an, a tenth and a tenth and a ninth and we beat a legend heads up we cut it in bad uh but we got there this is pretty cool man uh i gotta remember this um <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here i'm probably just gonna hang out for a couple minutes talk to you guys um yeah, we just won almost, well, we just won 20000 because of those donations. Someone pledged $520 to the stream. Uh, I forget the name, but I'm just going to, I'm going to watch this over. We're going to all watch it over. So let's pull in the replay here. Um, let's pull in the replay.
Uh, actually, I'm just here. I'm gonna find. Man, this is pretty nuts. It's like for a lot of money. I'm gonna find my actual streams that we can watch in big screen. Back in a good spot, though. I really do appreciate everyone's support, though. If I can take advantage of opportunity to get a little bit sentimental, uh, this is just so insane that I've got the opportunity to do this on Twitch. You know, I, I sort of came from nowhere five months ago, and streaming in front of 4,500 people and having my biggest score is pretty cool. So I just want to thank you all for sharing in this journey, getting the word out about my stream. Uh, it really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. We got a donation here. Skawish. 25 bucks for the win, WP, sir. Oh, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the support. No, the ad. The ad. <laughs> okay. So we're going to see it here. We're going to get to watch the replay. There we go. <laughs> hold hold oh my god <laughs> let's go let's go so sick oh my god the twitter hype the facebook hype as well you guys thank you thank you <laughs> he's such a good opponent too like we had to suck out to win Although, I think we played fine. I think we played okay. Let's go. Is this real life? Definitely not. Man, the mental swings during this loss to Kings as well. Trap. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, poker is so great, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is probably really boring for you guys, but here, let's let's turn on the volume again. And we get three bet. We are gonna four bet. Merson in the chat. What's up, man? Thanks for chilling. The champion, the world champ, Greg Merson. Go by sevens. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, I'm tearing up. That's too good. I don't even know what to say. That's pretty damn cool. All right, you guys. Grips. Congrats, Jaime. Way to go. <laughs> I think we got to do the hand history review soon for the fans. Dude, booked. What do you think? Twitch poker for life. Hashtag I'm in stable, stable. Thank you so much, Grips. $111 donation, you guys. I don't want to say thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, the chat hype, you guys. So sick. <laughs> I can hear my brother going crazy upstairs. Uh, Vamos. Vamos, he's calling down. Um, thank you, guys.